Hey guys, we came on another hiking adventure today with Odin. Beautiful spot. To get my funny head. I spotted for me, so I have to use it. And Odin is right underneath my feet. We're at the rocks. My wife is right here. Odin is looking as gorgeous as as well as usual I mean he got all of his tactical gear on today he has his tactical vest Odin all right Odin come here come here sit so you can see his tactical uh, m1 k9 collar vest everything is tactical even I got a leash that has a tactical buckle on it easy release if you guys want me to do a review of products that I use for Odin let me know I'll do that as well so for time being just enjoy the hike with me and my family we're just out about just having a good after hike for the evening thank you so one thing you have to remember when you go on long hikes with your dog you have to bring some sort of water source for your dog because they do get dehydrated and they do need a lot of water lucky for me there's plenty of water in the lake and the lake water sometimes can make your dog sick good thing about Odin nothing upsets his stomach he has a pretty pretty solid stomach so I am blessed for that because most dogs if they drink water from the lake they get do get sick or have diarrhea or something so be careful with your dog I'm not worry with Odin because that's one good benefit of having a dog on a raw diet your stomach builds up like acid and stuff like you know to deal with any parasites and stuff so I'm not worried that is just my opinion so not a scientist, just a regular pet owner. What I observe with my dog Odin. So please forgive my wife. She walks in the middle of the video. Odin! Leave him. So you gotta be careful about people when they're walking. You gotta let know your dog what, what he needs to do. Odin! Stay. Uh-uh. Leave it. So see the people there? He's ignoring them. Perfect, perfect thing to do when you're walking with your dog off leash. He has to know not everybody likes dogs. Somebody see some dumb person did not pick up their dog's poop. That is pretty bad. Always be a responsible pet owner and pick up the poop. Hey, watch out for the poop right there. I'm sorry, can you pick it up and put it in higher place, please? I know, but be respectful and reasonable. Put it in a high place so nobody walks into it. Thank you. Yep. Another thing. So, so Hamza is doing that. Not liking it, but he's gonna do it. Always be a res responsible pet owner. Pick up after your dog. Because these parks are good places for you, your family, and your dog to come and enjoy the evening and stuff. If anybody stepped on poops, they're not gonna have a fun hike or stuff. <laughs> He's a little finicky. Odin! So, gotta have full control. And again, I'm back in the same river, you know. Because last time my two boys didn't come with me, so they were complaining and stuff. So, had to bring them with me along for this hike. <laughs> Uh, Adam, you want to say anything to the viewers? What they need to do if they bring their dog on a hike and stuff? Uh, train it if you want to go off leash? Absolutely, your dog has to be trained if you want to walk him off leash. You cannot just walk any dog off leash if they don't have any obedience or any sort of training done to them. That's a beautiful shot.
he's just enjoying himself. Like he's looking back because my wife and kids are right there. They're calling me, so let me go check see what they found over there. I always be careful um, when you're taking a young puppy out for a hike and stuff. When I say young puppy, I mean something between eight weeks to 16 weeks. They're still young and still growing. So you don't want to take them on trails and stuff because it's too harsh on their body because their body is still growing and stuff. Their bones are soft. They can easily break them and stuff. And another thing, these trails are like up and down. They got steps they got to climb, rocks and all that. So that put a lot of pressure on their hips and stuff. So be careful on that part. And another thing, young puppy, just like babies, anything they find they think is delicious, they'll put it in their mouth. So, especially rocks. And if they swallow a rock or eat a rock, that's gonna be a problem for you. He's gonna lose his appetite for a while. It might make him throw up, or throw the rock out. That's the, I guess, easy way. Or otherwise, you gotta take him to the doctor and get a surgery to remove that rock. So. Be careful with a young puppy when you take them on trails and stuff and don't push their body for more than 10 to 15 minutes on walks and stuff. And that's Odin for you guys. He's just enjoying himself on a hike with the family, everybody. And uh, it's another adventure with the family today. So thank you so much guys for watching my videos and liking them. I hope you guys like these videos and let me know what other topic you guys want me to cover. On July 1st, Odin is turning two. Um, I'm gonna take him on July 2nd. I already got his hip schedule to get an x-ray done on them because as soon as he turns two, I'm gonna do that. I already sent his DM test to make sure he does not have the disease. Not a, it's not a disease, it's a carrier of a gene. So I'll talk more about that next video and stuff. So thank you so much for watching. All right, he's pooping now. Always, always bring your poop bags. Hi, thank you guys. See you guys next time.